Zool, motherfucker, Zool! Oh, hey everybody, Dark Souls 6875 here, and welcome to Heroes of the Storm. Today we are playing Zool, if you hadn't noticed, and our team comp today is Chromie, Zool, Sergeant Hammer, Illidan, and Tychus. We are going against the enemies Li Ming, Illidan, Abathur, Vala, and Chromie. Holy shit, do they have a lot of damage! Uh, but they still have an Illidan and a Vala, so we're still going to pick up Shade at level 1. Which is going to allow us to have a trait. This is going to allow us, when we activate our bone armor, which is going to be our one ability, it is going to allow us to evade basic attacks. Now, if you haven't seen Zul before, his kit is got his spectral scythe on his Q, which you can see there's a little orb right there. This is kind of a reverse skill shot, which will allow me to cast that scythe wherever that circle is, and it'll come back towards it. There's only a Vala. We're going to head mid and help Tychus. Uh, on our W, we have a what's called our Cursed Scythe, which you see this has got like a little half circle. It makes it increases our auto attack to this little half circle. So we'll just do like kind of damage in that little cone, like half circle area. It looks like we've only got one in the mid lane, two in the top lane. Let's go ahead and use our Spectral Scythe. And then on our E, we have our Bone Prism, which, oh shit, I have to defend in this shit pretty well. Which allows us to put somebody in a bone prison and put them in and just hold them down into a sp one spot. For just, what is it, two seconds. And it actually deals like 83 damage. And our passive is raise a skeleton. Whenever a nearby minion dies, a skeletal warrior beco it becomes a skeletal warrior and attacks up for 32 damage and lasts up to 15 seconds. And I can only have four of them up at a time. The shrines have spawned, what is the map run called again? Fuck, I don't even remember. I need to move. I'm gonna go ahead and spawn some more skeletons in. We're gonna try to. Sky Temple, that's what the map is called. God. I'm all kind of a jumble. I did something new with that. Oh, what the? Oh. I have a third one. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of get a few shots off this first one. No reason not to. Looks like everybody's going top. I can at least get a few shots off on the shrine. Let's go ahead and cast our Q to kind of zone out the Li Ming. Looks like she's not too interested in this. We're going to go ahead and pop our shades so we don't take too much damage here. At level 4, we are... Oh, 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 fuck! Hi! Oh, fuck! Oh, Guardians, you pick... Yeah. Fucking Abathur Mines! Fucking goddamn Abathur Mines! I'm... Ugh, fuck you. I, am... I would have escaped, too, if it had not been for your mines. You're a little... Oh, no, you hit him. So at level 4... We're going to pick up Jailer, which our E then spawns Skeletal Warrior. Avatar's just killing all the people. Like, watch out. We have an assassinate. We have, like, literally just the best assassination motherfucker in the game right now. He's got mines fucking everywhere. But it's okay. While he might be getting kills for his enemy, for his allied team, we're going to just avoid that. He isn't contesting the objectives. Ooh. Ah, I ran into that. Um, and I really don't know where they're- Ow! Okay, he's gonna jump, we're gonna E, and we're gonna back up. We're gonna let Ariladin do a lot of the work. We're just gonna keep that fucker in place. I ain't got time for this shit. I'm Zul. I kill minions. I push shit. We're gonna pick up a kill on Vala there, and I'm pretty sure we picked up most of the shots on each tower. Giving us a pretty good advantage in both middle and top lane. Fuck. Do I raise a sk I do not raise a skeleton from you little scarabs. These mines, though, they're fucking everywhere. <coughs> huh. We are just trading kills. It is Team Deathmatch, everybody. Fuck that this is a MOBA. Fucking, it's Mortal Kombat up in here. Oh, hi, Vala. Okay, let's... <laughs> okay! How's it going? You tried. Well played. We're gonna get Rathma's Blessing, where every time we summon a Skeletal Warrior, it is gonna heal us. We're kinda going for the popular build. If you go and check a website known as Hotslogs, I'm pretty sure... Actually, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure this is still the popular build. Mostly because it's just got a lot of self-sustain. We're gonna just push the fuck out of this mid-fort and just take it. Chromie's gonna come up from behind us, possibly with the help of Illidan. But we're just not gonna give a fuck. We're just gonna casually get on a little hell building and just, you know, ride away into the sunset. Who gives a fuck? We can do what we want. We're Zool. 
Motherfucker, where's Zool? We're just gonna back. Hell, it might even just go top. We got almost a two level. Oh no, we're only gonna have a level lead advantage. I'm gonna go top and help. This Li Ming has no mana. We might be able to get a secure a kill here. It looks like something crazy is going on the bottom lane. We got some minions and shit. Hi, Li Ming. Oh, 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 oh. Can I? I can't get close enough. Whatever. Okay, taking some damage, but it's okay. We can just summon in some skeletons and get some more health back. We'll also pick up this regen globe. Look at that. Got some good health regen. Whoop. The temple has spawned in the bottom lane. We are going to go ahead and rotate. We're going to pick up vision on our way down. Li Ming looks like she's going to stay top and deal with that minion wave. So we are going to go down and help the friendly team. Although I don't think they need it. So we'll go ahead and push out mid. It looks like they have this under control, actually. And Li Ming is just going to sit there and soak top. I thought I saw the brush move. I know that doesn't probably happen. I'm just gonna wipe this minion wave. Yeah, looks like Li Ming. What is Li Ming doing? She's backing. Oh, there's an Abathur! Oh, there's a slug! What's up, motherfucker? You're not going nowhere, bitch! Oh, get back here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I got my Q. Are you fucking. No! What? What? Whatever. What the f. I. How the. What? How the fuck is Abathur faster than Zul? What the fuck? We're gonna pick up. Let's pick up Skeletal Mages. I, I prefer Skeletal Mages in kind of a solo queue environment. We're gonna go ahead and. No, okay, he's gone. We're just gonna push out fucking top. <laughs> We've taken the bottom fort with the shrine and some pushing power with some golems. This is looking like to be a really quick game. With the way our t we just snowballing. Oh, they actually taking shots. We're just gonna keep this. Do some damage to that tower. We're just gonna split push. And Avatar's gonna try to stop us to no avail. We tried. Hi, Tykes. <laughs> We're just gonna split push to our heart's content. Where is this? Where is he back? Oh. I heard a hunt. Let's get this. Let's get this. Let's get this. Help me with this. We can get this pushing in the right direction. Kind of getting greedy with these pushes, but if we can do it, there's no reason to not. I'm gonna go ahead and shade up. The enemy team's near the bottom. Holy shit! That was that's not too good for us. We're gonna get this pushing and get the fuck out because they know we're here. Let me just pull back. We still haven't lost a fort. What's- oh my god, these mines. Okay, I'm just gonna back. I don't need to die to mines. It looks like they're starting to catch up to us in level, but we still have the building advantage. I'm gonna- my lag is so frustrating. I've been like this for two days for some reason. Let, let us kill this Ming Li. They finally took a building. Actually, I'm gonna go top. I'm gonna go top and help out with him. I'm actually gonna- let my hand, let my let the friendly team know that I'm. Go Guardians. Hi. Where you going, Grummy? Answer? Nowhere. Oh, bitch. Get the Grummy. Yep. I'll see. Oh, it didn't hit? Oh, I'm so bad. Why am I so bad at this? Damn. I shouldn't have used ulti there. I just wanted to get a... What the fuck? Huh. Okay. Hi. Oh, wait. I'm pretty sure... Oh, no. Yeah, Mercedes is dead fucking. All right, whatever. Hi, Vala. You're not going to pick up this regen globe? I will. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to cast this. Hit the real Vala with some damage. And just slow down that one's attack speed. Uh, it should be. Oh, uh, it's a ki Ooh, Hammer just ignoring Illidan right there. I don't know what we were doing. Let's get this. Kind of starting to trickle into these fights. 
And I'm getting way too overconfident in trying to just do what I need to do. I should have just focused the real Vala down right there. Illidan doesn't really need to chase this, but I think he can probably secure a kill here. Oh, there's the hunt. It's just because it's overkill, and we should be able to get bottom. Um, let's can. <coughs> uh, boss after shrine. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this camp since it's already somewhat dead. Actually, okay. Yeah, with the, most of the enemy team up, that might be a bad idea. I thought that shrine was lower than it was. Go ahead and queue this down. My temple Ooh, okay. <laughs> Just gonna W down this whole wave. Uh, Illidan's hunting. I didn't. St oh, God. Oh, oh Jesus. We're gonna go and try to cut this Vala off. She's. Probably okay. So Elden was over there. Enemy Elden was over here. Did he just recall into this brush? Okay, I guess he's gone. There's Abathur in the bottom lane. Oh, hi. Where are you going? Uh, okay. Hi. Hi. Yes, come over here. Fight me over here. Yes. Uh, we're going to pick up Skeleton Mastery. And we're going to get the fuck out of here before Chromie tries to burst us down. We're just going to back. We ulted and that made Illidan. Or no, Illid did Illidan ult first? I wasn't really. It's kind of focusing on the fight. Not really what was. That doesn't make any sense either way I say that. But either way, we need to be careful. Illidan hunting the chrome and she's gonna try to run him into the yep there's that hi you are just not gonna go fucking anywhere I'm gonna be thrown back here we're gonna go to the top we're gonna push this out actually we're gonna use our W to push it out we're gonna go to the top shrine oh no an abathur mine like, whatever shall I do looks like they're wanting to deal with this somebody captured the bottom siege camp for the enemy team it looks like Chromie and I are just going to stand on the points. <coughs> and, you know, play the objective. Chromie does need to be careful because Li Ming was last... Is seen in the mid lane. And she can easily be bursted down. And we do need somebody to help Lee, er, uh, Chromie in the bottom... Or in the mid lane. Sergeant Hammer dying to Illidan Vala. It looks like we traded Hammer for a Vala. I'm just going to stay up here. And then just shade. We're just going to take this objective, hopefully. Because we need to at least take one of these. Unfortunately, we can't use our passive on these minions here. But we got it. We're going to go ahead and back. I have, I'm have i low on health, and I don't think we have a sippy in the top lane. We do not. So I'm going to back and then ping that I'm on my way to the mid lane. Okay. I mean, it's not that big of a push, but we'll defend it. Make sure I'm going back mid. Looks like we're gonna get the last couple of shots out of this fort. Let's go ahead and start pushing mid in the right direction. Uh, boss. They, the two of them are two of their biggest damage dealers are down. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my shade. Not get stuck in. Oh, nope, I ran right back into it. I don't know if my W slows his. It doesn't look like it does. Ella, didn't you want to take over from here for me, bud? That'd be, I appreciate you. How did I. Did I get body blocked by Tychus there? Take boss. And now we can push. I'm going to go ahead and back. Let my team know that I have like 22% health. Get some experience, but we've almost hit level 20 to keep our two level lead ahead. We could probably end with boss. Remember. Boss? Like, we don't need to. We have level. We have the talent advantage. 
no reason we shouldn't be pushing with this. But I guess we're not. So it's a little late now. Looks like Hammer picked up the orbital BFG. We're gonna go ahead and pop our ulti. I'm gonna pick up a couple more skeletal mages. Li Ming is here. That is a bit to be concerned about. I'll go ahead and spawn some more skeletal mages. Let's just back up. We can just protect Hammer. We'll just protect Hammer and end the game. <laughs> That's all we gotta do. And that is GG at the 16.30 mark, or 16.22 mark. That was a quick-ass game. I was Zool. <coughs> yeah, that was Azul with a really confident team in quick match, which does not happen a lot. So we're going to go ahead and get to the score screen, and we'll talk about the build that I went over. And I'll go over the build. And we're going to finish two daily quests. Yeah. So, let's, let's take a look at our stats. 95,000 siege damage, highest siege damage in the game, and highest XP contribution in the game as well. It's all that split pushing, taking down, uh, I think it was two forts or one fort at the very beginning of the game, something like that. So at level one, we picked up Shade to counteract the uh, Illidan and Vala. This is, while our bone armor is active, you evade all basic attacks, but increase the cooldown of bone armor by 10 seconds. At uh, level 3, we picked up... What the fuck? Wait, is that for everybody? Because I know it's 1, 4, 7, 10. That's weird. That's confusing. I wonder if that does it every time there's a Chromie in the game. So technically, you should go 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 20. Uh, so at level 4, we picked up Jailers, which allows our E to spawn two Skeletal Warriors that... Attack the enemy that was in the bone prison. Uh, they also don't count towards your uh, ray skeleton maximum, which allows you to have even more skeletons and get even more healing. Obviously, you don't get that healing until level 7, when raising a skeletal warrior heals you for 66 health. Then we picked up skeletal mages. We could have honestly picked up uh, poison nova here, and it wouldn't have probably been bad, but we weren't... Poison Nova really works is if you can get in the middle of a team fight because you erupt poison out in every direction. Skeletal Mages was good because a lot of the enemy team, like Li Ming, Illidan, uh, Bala, they have ways of escaping. They've got like a, a dash move. So Skeletal Mages will allow us to summon those four Frost Mages and slow them down so that they can't escape nearly as well. Uh, level 13, we picked up Giant's Curse, which Curse Strike deals an additional 2% of maximum health as damage to heroes. You know, just get some more damage out for us. Level 16, we picked up Skeletal Mastery, which increases our maximum Skeletal Warriors. You can have up to 6, and increases their damage by 50%. So not only does this increase the amount we can heal from a Rathma's Blessing, but this also gives us more damage on our Skeletal Warriors. That's also included towards structures and heroes. And then at level 20, we picked up Raised Mage. When a nearby enemy hero dies, a Frost Mage appears from their corpse to fight for you. Also increases the slow of Frost Mages from 30 to 50%. So now not only do we have our four Skeletal Mages, but they now have a 50% slow. And every time we kill an enemy hero, a new one will pop up in that spot. So what this means is we would have our four Skeletal Mages in a line. <coughs> Let's say Illin goes away a little bit but still gets killed near the mages. This would allow us for another mage for us to spawn in and just do that damage and get more slows. So that was the build. Yet again, it's the highest one on uh, Hot Vlogs right now, and it's a pretty tried and true build. Uh, if you want to see any other builds, I would suggest going and visiting the website. I'll leave a link to the website in the description below. And yeah, that was our game with Zul. I hope you enjoyed this, everybody. Uh, I hope to see you again. And as always, everyone, have a great day.